everyone. If you're like me and love playing Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, you know how immersive and beautiful it can be. But recently, my experience on my Asus Raji G640J notebook, equipped with an Intel Core i9-14900HX, NVIDIA RTX 4070 Super, and 32GB of RAM was far from smooth. I noticed small stutters and frame drops during gameplay, which really killed the fun. After some investigation using HW Monitor and the developer mode in FS 2024, I discovered that the culprit was thermal throttling. The CPU was overheating and reducing its performance to cool down. Even tweaking settings in ASUS's Armory Crate didn't solve the issue. But don't worry, I found a fix that works, and I'll show you how to do it step by step using Throttle Stop 9.6. First, install HW Monitor. You can download it for free online. Open the program while playing FS 2024 and monitor your CPU temperatures and clock speeds. If you notice the temperatures spiking above 90 degrees Celsius and the clock speeds dropping during heavy loads, that's a sign of thermal throttling. 2. In FS 2024, enable developer mode in the settings. Look for the performance metrics and confirm if the CPU is flagged as a limiting factor. Step 2. Download and install Throttle Stop 9.6. 1. Head over to the official Throttle Stop website and download version 9.6. Link will be in the description. 2. Extract and run the program as an administrator. Step 3. Configure Throttle Stop for undervolting. 1. Open Throttle Stop and click on the Fiverr button. It stands for Fully Integrated Voltage Regulator. 2. In the FAVR menu, enable the checkbox for Unlock Adjustable Voltage. Adjust the CPU core voltage offset by sliding it to 100 millivolts. Click on Apply and then OK. Three, back in the main throttle stop window, check the speed shift EPP box and set the value to 32 for better performance control. Save your profile settings by clicking on the save button. Step four, test and monitor. One, restart your game and monitor the performance again using HW Monitor and FS 2024's developer mode. You should see significantly lower temperatures, usually under 85 degrees Celsius and stable CPU clock speeds without throttling. 2. Play for a while to ensure the fix is stable and doesn't introduce crashes or instability. And there you have it. With a simple undervolting tweak, you can eliminate CPU thermal throttling and enjoy a smooth experience in FS 2024 and other demanding games. This solution worked wonders on my Asus ROG G6 at Forter J, and I'm sure it can help many of you out there too. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tech tips, and let me know in the comments how it worked for you. Thanks for watching, and happy flying!